everyone welcome back and welcome if you're new this is part two of let's see a part three part series if you saw last week's video then you saw the bedrooms um, part of this series I this particular day I spent all day cleaning this house cleaning the apartment and getting it ready for company but I wanted to do a deep clean and take you guys along with me in addition to that it's been a couple of days prior to all of this um, that I was able to get laundry taken care of get um, the bathroom cleaned get the bedrooms cleaned just because of some personal things and so of course the home fell to the wayside so um, we needed to or I needed to just get back on my game and get everything back in order so if you are here for some motivation I think that this is going to be it for you guys I take you with me as we do a bathroom clean deep clean and also an extreme massive declutter and organ and organize um, my kitchen there's a spot in the kitchen that needed to get cleaned out a, a cabinet area that um, has been when you guys see it's just been a little nasty and crazy um, and I'll explain when we get there but um, welcome back and welcome as I said if you are new introduce yourself down below my name is Rosa and I'm a mom of three boys and we are currently in Ohio visiting with my husband we do have a home back in Florida um, so if you are new there's going to be t uh, different types of content on my channel in regards to locations. So you'll see our home in Florida and our home here um, or our apartment here in Ohio. So I hope that my channel provides you uh, the content that you're looking for. And I do not get ready for cleaning. So this video, I am I look busted because I knew what I had in store, which is an all day cleaning, um, an all day clean with me. So again, thank you guys for joining me today. So let's get into getting this bathroom cleaned, scrubbing the tub, uh, refreshing the, the sink, wiping everything down and uh, cleaning out the toilet before we go on into the kitchen and the rest of the house. So today's video is giving you all the motivation that you are seeking for uh, down below what will be a link to a playlist that I am part of in today's video. This vid this playlist is a link to all of these amazing women who um, we've all come together to provide you guys with some serious motivation. So make sure to check the playlist out down below and share some love, show some love, go and check them out. Tell them that you came from Rose's channel. And if you're coming from their channel, welcome. I hope that you're enjoying today's video and getting all the motivation that you came here for. No, because my eyes are open, your words will keep bouncing away. And even if you try to the bathroom is just about done the toilet is clean the shower is clean all I have to do is wipe down the mirror and then I took it an extra step and wiped down the light bulbs because they looked a little dusty and then next I'll be wiping down the sink scrubbing out the sink and the countertop and once I'm done with this I'll then take you with me down the hall so you can see the disaster that I have going on um, with the mounds and like mounds of laundry um, stay tuned for my next video because you guys will then get all of that laundry motivation um, added to it I, I'm telling you guys there was just so much stuff that needed to get done that I could not fit in just one film or one video for you guys but I wanted to make sure that I captured all of the mess and take you with me so that you can uh, see an experience that um, 
we are just it's it's part of life when things happen um life you know when life happens you know things around the house just aren't a priority and sometimes spending valuable precious time with family or just running errands um you know getting some things taken care of important things taken care of you know the home does fall to the wayside but um it is time to just get it back and it's okay but when it's time to get it back it is to get it back so let's get finished with cleaning this bathroom sweeping uh, taking care of the hallway and then also uh, wet jetting or Swiffer wet jetting, I think that's what it's called, um, mopping the floor in the bathroom. So now that the bathroom is done and as you guys can see the loads of laundry that it's all piled and lined up to get done oh my lanta i can't stress the amount of laundry i unfortunately i was a rude tenant i took up both washing machines because we had so much laundry and luckily no one else needed to use the washing machine um or use the laundry room while we were down there so i think god just kind of made that happen because he knew how much i had to get done and it just kept on adding and adding so now that all of that is all lined up and ready to go i wanted to go ahead and finish vacuuming out the hallway um so that i can then go into the kitchen so let me explain the uh cabinet or pantry area that you're going to see which is right um, as you look into the kitchen it's right underneath the um where the uh what is that called keurig and you'll see that i'll go into it so this unit um, is an older unit it's the management company manages about three different properties and this is kind of like they they make this one fall to the to the bottom of the totem pole which is very upsetting um and I've never been in an apartment setting where like maintenance was just an issue. And so maintenance in this apartment complex has always been an issue. So if you can see the black uh, tape that's on the outlet, so we're marking all of the outlets that are loose or that some things are, you know, things that are wrong with it so that the maintenance crew can come in. We've placed in so many work orders um, and no one seems to want to come and fix our stuff. So I got to the point where I got, I got aggravated and um, the cabinet that you guys will see me do after I tackle these dishes, um, that cabinet has always been broken. The shelving had always been broken. The flooring had always been broken. So I decided to clean that all out because as you guys can see, we store everything on the top of our cabinets. Well, that's such a, it's just a, an eyesore and I don't want all of that exposed. So I went, cleaned all that out wiped it all out i had to throw away my rags because it was disgusting vacuum out uh the loose wood particles and you guys will see i had to take two trash bags full of just wood particles things that was just unsafe and um unsanitary and all that stuff i cleaned all of that out and you guys will see here shortly of me taking all that out and wiping down underneath um and kind of just using that space once it all once it's all nice and clean 
um, using that space for storage, things that we needed to, to put away. Um, you'll see that here shortly, but I wanted to give that an explanation um, and why it's taken us so long to actually get that done. One, because we've been waiting for maintenance and my husband's like, don't do it, don't do it. As much as I've been wanting it to get this space taken care of, he's told me a thousand times not to do it, so I didn't. But today, I could not hold back any longer, so I take you with me as I do it. So here's the cabinet area that I was speaking of. And again, I prepare, I prepare you um, for what you're going to see that's going to come out of this. I was highly disappointed. I was so aggravated that I had to wait or my husband asked me to wait this long. And I, and I obliged. I did. But I just could not... Um, could not have the space go this bad any longer. And I, I'm telling you guys, I am so disappointed ab about our apartment complex. Um, but this is, you know, we've made this um, a temporary space for us, a home for us. And I... I don't treat my home like this back in Florida. <laughs> I don't. And um, I... Again, you guys, I was just so disappointed. So I just wanted to bring you guys with me as I, I share this part of... Um, I guess apartment living. I don't know. I don't know what to explain or how to explain this. But um, if any any of you guys have ever experienced any of this stuff, please let me know. Let me know if this is normal. Let me know. I mean, the cabinet is coming apart. And I just, I could not have this space be this way. And it's wasted space because I could have been using this for storage. And um and that is what we decided to do is just clean it all out, get it ready for appropriate and accurate storage. Um, and you'll see that you will see that here shortly.
So after cleaning off the outside of the fridge by taking all of the menus and extra things that we don't necessarily need on the fridge, I went ahead and decided to clean out the inside of the fridge. As you guys can see, um, it needed to be organized and uh, things put away nice and neat. And so that's what I'll be working on here. So here's a little bit of um, motivation to help you clean out your fridge and or organize it. Again, I hope you guys are getting the motivation that you're needing and seeking in this video. I think today's video is just pretty massive in regards to organizing and decluttering a little bit um, and just putting everything back to normal to some degree. So let me know down below. Are you uh, watching on your tablet, your phone, your TV, sitting back enjoying coffee, tea, or a glass of wine? Um, or are you cleaning with me? Just for motivation So now that the fridge is all nice and clean, it was time to 
throw out the trash and so I got that taken care of and it's I need to go ahead and finish up with wiping down the countertops and uh, putting everything away and just uh, getting the kitchen back into order and so I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me today um, and and coming along with me uh, through this little series of getting my house back in order um, the reason why again I did these in, in three different um, sections or series or three different parts is because if I put them all in one this video would have been extremely long so and I didn't want to do that I wanted to break them up and um, you know kind of give you guys and, and really talk to you guys throughout the video um, and kind of just let you guys know what's going on in each of these spaces and so the next video that's going to come up is to finish off the apartment with the living room in the dining room area and some laundry motivation so I thank you guys so very much for joining me today again if you are new please let me know introduce yourself subscribe um, the whole gamble let uh, do the notification bell so you are notified when new videos are posted um, let me know where you're watching from are you in the US are you across seas anything I don't know in a different country I love knowing I think there's someone from Australia that watches people from the UK um, and it's so stinking cool to hear where everyone is from and to chat with you guys so thank you guys so very much for watching I hope to see you in the next one much love and God bless.